Hello again and welcome back to Scott and Wonder's world. The world of Scott and Wonder. How are you doing? Hope you're all keeping well. Bullshit beer review. Fat man sits in a shed. Talking about the beer he's currently drinking type video. And this was on one I wasn't going to actually pick up. But cause mainly because it was in cans. You had to buy a load of them. Um, then I saw someone had a can of it. We went shopping and it was in a bottle. I thought, oh, I'll pick it up. There's only two pounds a bottle. I can live with that. So if it's rubbish, it doesn't really matter. From everybody's favorite brewery in the whole wide world, it's Brewdog and it's their Shore Leave. I think it's released into, it's only released into Tesco, it's released into Morrison's. Don't know if it's gone into, oh, I'm sure it went to Sainsbury's as well. I know Brewdog have done the rounds, as of Northern Monk have gone massive, mahoosive into this new beer drop. This physical stuff, the, what was it called? The Smug Faith in Futures was really good, really good. Um, the Stouts were okay. I didn't think they were terrible. Uh, what else have we had? I didn't mind the Wingman from Brewdog. The can was exceptional. The beer inside it wasn't exceptional, but it was okay. And there's also all sorts of new beers in the supermarket. Oh, and then you had this one. So we've got Craft Beer Upstarts doing some traditional stuff. So you've got the Sup from Northern Monk, a Golden Ale. And then you've got this one from Brewdog, Shoreleave Amber Ale. I'm assuming this is pointed at the the Doom Bar Brigade of drinkers. Um, that's where I'm presuming this is headed. I actually quite like the bottle artwork. The Good Ship Brewdog. Says so just here. I hope you can see that. I know that light is of a premium at the moment. And it's 4.3% ABV. I don't think I've got my glasses in here. So I can't actually read a sodding thing that it says on the side. Wonder? I don't know where Wonder is either. So she can't even come and read it for me. There is a little bit there, but I can't see what it says. Whether it's any dump from Brewdog or not. So, a couple of breweries doing a traditional style ale. So, they've got all their their, tra uh, their, their craft beer fans. Even Brewdog still have their fans, I suppose. Um, my history with Brewdog, still want them to make a decent beer. Don't go into any beer review with any prejudice. I just want them to make a good beer. I didn't mind Wingman. I wouldn't buy a box of it, but the can itself was okay. So the, the, the artwork is phenomenal. So yeah, I'm assuming this is aimed at the, the Doom Bar, sort of, well, you've got old Speckled Hen. Those sort of, that sort of brigade. There's your crown. The rights and wrongs of Brewdog are probably, eh, <laughs> that's a whole video on its own, I would think, these days. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Um, I just want them to make a decent beer, as I'm sure some of you guys do as well. I know there's a lot of hate for Brewdog. I don't love them. I don't hate them these days. Right, so shore leave, or is it snore leave, or bore leave? We're going to find out. In the glass. Just wash my glass. Yeah, amber coloured. This is a non-nucleated glass, so it's it's quite highly carbonated. One finger. Head's not going anywhere. Actually, in the glass, it looks all right. I'm not going to shit on it for the way it looks. Go for a sniff. It's got, it's got that traditional amber ale aroma to it. There's a sweet malt. Some citrus, some grapefruit, fruity. On the aroma, 
it doesn't smell too bad. Never kill two. I think it's two pound for the bottle. So yes, four point three percent. Shore leave, snore leave, boar leave. Court martial, do the fucking woo woo. Quite busy carbonation. Fuck was that then? I didn't mind. What's up? I thought that was half decent. What can brew dog do with a <coughs> an amber ale? Isn't there five AM Saint? Or was that a red red, red ale? I can't, remember. I can't remember these days. It's like caramel. Going on in that. Carbonation is quite busy. There is um, a touch of caramel. There's a grapefruit bitterness going on in there somewhere with a little, little bit of um, citrus note. Uh, there's a sweet malt. It's not that. Look, it's not. Gonna, it's not going to blow the world apart. It's not the best beer brew dog have ever made. It's all right. It's not. It's not a world beater. It's not rubbish. Listen, I'm glad that I didn't buy a box of them. But it's wet. It's refreshing. It's drinkable. It is. It's got a slightly. Um, Unusually, from a from a a bottle, but it's got a slightly metallic taste to it. From from my palate, it's a instantly forgettable, drinkable take on an amber ale. From a, brewer, uh, from a brewery that should be able to make an amber ale. And they've made it. Um, is it exciting? No. Is it terrible? No. Um, it's more a bit snore leave than short than shore leave. But I guess that's the style. Um, it's not a style I drink a huge amount of. Um, would I buy it again? No. Am I glad I've picked it up? Yeah, I suppose I am. I don't know if you call that. Um, Brew Dog Shore Leave. From the Good Ship. Good Ship. Brew Dog. I'm going to give it a thumbs in the middle. It's not terrible. It's not terrible enough to give it a thumbs down. It's not exciting enough to give it a thumbs up. Thumbs in the middle from the Bullshit Beer Reviewer. If you've tried Shore Leave, Snore Leave, Ball Leave, whatever you want to call it, I think Snore Leave would be probably more appropriate um yeah if you've tried it let me know in the comments what you think of it if you haven't and you see it about and you fancy a middle of the road it is very doom bar like <laughs> from memory don't drink a lot of doom bar but very doom bar like and obviously that's a crowd that's aimed at i don't know how much doom bar is so i don't know the, the price comparison to what you're going to buy but yeah if you if you if, if you like brew dog then by all means go try it. If you, if you don't like brew dogs, then you ain't gonna touch it with a barge pole. Um, I pick them up for the channel um, these days. Don't drink them off channel. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comments box. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. There's a subscribe button over there somewhere. You may want to see things. Have a great evening. <laughs>